I gotta carry him. We got the M4 in, gonna do a full unwrap and rewrap. If you guys remember Menace M4, he brought his BMW last year for SEMA. We knocked it out, did the black rose color on it. <laughs> Probably my favorite wrap color. It's kind of sad to see it go. You guys have already started removing a little bit, but I stopped them because I want to show the unwrap process. Some of the yellow's already exposed down there. Uh, he did hit something, so let's show you what it looks like when you do curb something, curb your vinyl. This can't happen. So if you look here, there's a black rose, and then it looks like something clipped the side of the car. It damages the wrap and it damages the paint. So a little unfortunate, but like I said, we're unwrapping and rewrapping. No big deal, we'll cover it up. It's gonna look good. Original color of the car was yellow almost the color of this. Should be a cool unwrap process. I'll show you guys the whole thing. So if you guys have a car wrapped or you're concerned about unwrapping your car or wrapping your car because you're scared of an unwrap, you shouldn't be. To educate you guys a little further, you can wrap a vehicle and unwrap it multiple times without issue. We've wrapped several cars five and six times. Then we've wrapped other cars where we've unwrapped them and immediately had paint damage. So let me tell you about that. What can happen is if the panels were repainted at any time, so say you bought that car, it was painted or it had its factory paint on it, you got a little fender bender and you did an insurance claim and they sent it to it in shop to get repaired and they didn't do such a good job. And a lot of times you don't even know, you're not aware because the bumpers weren't prepped properly. Painters will tell you this all the time, just like in our world, in the wrap world, people take shortcuts. People wanna make money. So they'll do things that aren't best for the customer, especially when it comes to insurance work. It's always important to make sure that you're going to a reputable shop to have body work or paint done. And a lot of times that what happens is you'll get your bumper painted, you'll think that it looks good, it'll last for a couple years, and then it starts to go bad fairly quickly. Or what happens is you get it painted and then you get it wrapped, and then we go and remove that wrap and then you have issues. Paint will come up, issues will happen. Uh, it's very uncommon, but it does happen. So it's something to be aware of. Uh, one thing that I always ask all of our customers when they're coming in, we're getting wrap, wrap their car, getting ready to wrap it. One thing I got asked is, hey, was this car repainted? Was, uh, was there ever in any collision that you know of, that you're aware of? Sometimes they're not aware that their car was in a collision. Maybe they didn't own the car from when it was brand new. So there's a lot of different things that you need to know about. We've been very good about identifying paint damage just by looking at the car. You can look at a car and sometimes tell if a car's been repainted. So right now outside, it's about 80, 95 degrees. It's hot. I'm wearing all black. I'm wearing pants. I'm sweating already and I haven't got started getting working. So it's going to be crazy. Let's do this. Dude, this is tiring, dude. I'm, I'm sweating so, out here. I'm, I'm not sweating, even doing bro. And then on top of that, what happens is the adhesive is sticking to your fingers. So when you're pulling, you're constantly going like this. It's like ripping your fingers off. So when a car comes in wrapped, you charge them more to unwrap it and then wrap it again? If a customer has a car wrapped by premium, we don't charge an unwrap fee. Anytime that customer wants to remove the wrap, we'll take it off because we're confident in what was done to it. The car was wrapped elsewhere. There is a fee. It's charged at an hourly rate. Hourly rate here is between 80 and $100 an hour, depending on the service. So with the unwrap, you're gonna spend about 80 bucks an hour to get it done. You see here, I'm halfway through the car in less than 20 minutes. It might take like an hour to two hours to unwrap the car. And then there should be, there's sometimes there's additional stuff that needs to be done, like taking off bumpers. We do have to remove the door handles to get all this off because the handles are off when we wrap the car. So, whew, I'm out of breath. We did this bumper with an overlay. So what we did, we wrapped the bumper first and then we put this piece over. And if you look at it right now, when it's removing, it's coming apart because they're two different pieces. But what I wanted to show you guys is it was done and it was done right and you would never even know. I didn't even know that it was there. I didn't know the seam was there. I forgot that we did it that way. With this color, it's very, very easy to overstretch it and discolor the, the film. So instead of when we wrapped this bumper, we technically could have did all this in one piece without issue, but we risked the chance of overstretching the material and it looking bad. So we went this route, we did the overlay. Like I said, you couldn't even see that it was there. You see that the material stayed in place, never popped up, and it didn't discolor, so it looks really good still. I don't know, I thought it was just worth pointing out. The biggest tip I can give you when you're unwrapping a car, do it on a hot day, park the car outside in the sun for at least a few hours, let it heat up, because that's what's gonna make the, the material a lot more pliable. I still broke a sweat, 
so it didn't really make a difference but what it did eliminate is i don't need to have a heat gun i haven't even really used the heat gun i did bring a torch out just in case the film's really really hot right now so you can see that it's kind of coming up real easy so when removing vinyl heat is your friend don't be afraid to use it or just use the sun it's been sitting out here for a couple hours so it's removing nice and easy Look at this. You wanna see? Like legit, look what's happening to my fingers. See that? Fuck it. The calluses are popping. Did you see how they're all bent up? Can you get focused on that? Ew, it's kinda nasty. All in a day work, all in a day's work, boys. That's crazy. It fucking hurts. Welcome back home. Any tips on unwrapping a car there, Mitchie? Grab and pull. I like that too. You can apply that wherever you feel necessary. <laughs> Grab and pull. I have to stop, dude. These things are about to split open. I just... Ow! <laughs> <laughs> so basically I'm gonna start on the GTR. I'm gonna do the first piece. Everybody's going through their whole Monday morning schedule, so they're all doing meetings, talking with Daniel, and just going over everything, make sure that business is running smoothly. But like I said, I'm gonna do the first piece right now, which would be the uh, hood for some reason I can't remember the hood for the GTR and it is going in Shadow black, so I'm sure you guys have seen it before we did Dominic Cruz's whole GTR in this But he also wanted to add some really dope uh, gold accents so you guys will see this whole project unfold Like I said, I'm gonna do the first piece now. So just uh, I guess join me on my adventure So, so, so far working with this material, I've noticed right now that it's very, very thick and brittle, I think. And I think it just has to do because of all the different fibers and just how the material is created. Um, it feels really nice and it looks really cool. But the only thing that you have to do when wrapping is you just, you can't stretch anything. Everything has to be, you know, kind of, as you guys can see, like I can easily just pull this down and try to lay it, but I'm still going to have a bunch of tension. So what I'm doing is I'm just letting the material do its own thing and kind of just like letting it, it all set itself into place. And I mean, it's all working out for me. It's, it's definitely a challenge, but it's a fun challenge because working here, I am trained to wrap, you know, properly as far as laying everything into place. So it's nothing really too difficult for me, but it is different than a lot of other materials. So that's the only thing. Other than that, it looks great. All right guys, amongst the middle of everything of all the grinding going on today, Saturday was Lo's birthday. We didn't all get to go out and eat with her because we went out of town. So we're all gonna go to the yard house to celebrate her birthday and spend all of our checks because you guys ever been to the yard house? That place is not cheap. You, I
I've been trying hard to keep my cool But when you're near, there's nothing that I can do When you're walking in, I know it's true I, it doesn't even matter how hard I try Cause when I hear your voice, my walls come down Boy, you are the only thing I want There must be a way I can make you see That if we fell in love, it would be so sweet But when it's you Happy, Happy birthday to you ta 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 Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Happy birthday, dear Lauren. <laughs> Happy birthday to you.